What's going on everybody? I haven't made a video in so long. I don't even remember what the last video was about. But um I just want to show you guys some blades and stuff. I, I just came back from Blade Show a couple days ago. Uh first time I went. And uh, I gotta say, man, if you can afford to go and you wanna go, man, it's worth it. You meet so many people that are so cool, see so much cool stuff, blades, gear, knickknacks, antique knives. Um, pretty much anything that you you want to see that has anything to do with knives or you know a lot of EDC stuff people making uh, they got like holster uh, hardware knife kits was there off of knife supply I mean there's so many people USA knife maker you know Jimmy Lau Jr. was there man a lot of people um, but it was my first time and I had a blast. I'll be going back next year and if I do well this year, sometime before all the booths are taken, I might possibly have my own booth there next year because I got a lot of good feedback off of my blades. I actually did some sales and some trading uh, to some people that I really respect their work. And uh, it's a good time all around, man. Got to meet people that I would never probably meet anywhere else. Can't say much else about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man, look, that's my nose. But uh, <coughs> ooh man, sorry about that, guys. Uh, but uh, I want to show you some blades. This one didn't actually come from Blade Show, but it came from a knife maker uh, all the way from the Czech Republic, named Jan Straka. He's on Facebook, but not Instagram as of yet. Look at the sheath on this thing hand stitched it's got some like antique looking metal and stuff show me the picture of the metal look like something he got out of a I don't know old barn piece of metal or something but look at that pins all the way through peened stitched it's not not uh, burnt on the edges or anything burnished but I mean, I think that really fits this style sheep. Really rustic looking. I mean, even on the back. This thing's just stellar, man. I mean, I love it. We got a good deal on it, I think, for, for it being hand forged. Handle scales are oak. It's got that nice pommel ring on it. I mean, that this just fits in there. Perfect, man. Perfect. But yeah, this guy does really nice work. Hand forged, spring steel. really nice this is my style too I don't think they're epoxied on I think they're fastened on but I think I'm gonna take this off and epoxy it on that way it seals everything up from the inside and then I'm gonna put a light coat of tongue oil on the blade I got a few other blades that I scored too. Um, one of the smaller ones is in my truck, but I got this one from uh, Jared at Omnivore Blade Works. I traded one of my blades to him for this one and another one of my blades for one of his smaller knives. And uh, I've been really, I really respect this guy and his work. I've, I've, uh, I've always wanted to own one of his Kodiak swords, but I just could never, you know, I just ended up, never ended up buying one for some reason, you know, buns or whatever. But uh, we ended up trading. I traded one of him, or I traded to him one of my Wasteland uh, buoys. Not the short sword, but one with the 16-inch blade instead of the 18. Still a short sword, but and it's still longer than a buoy. But I just call it the Wasteland buoy because it's not the sword length which I make his 18-inch blade, 27 inches total. But this is one of his uh, fancy Kodiaks. 1095 quarter inch Aus Temper. Um, I don't know what the RC is on it, but. Beautiful grind lines on this thing. This was his demo model. It's not brand new, but I could care less. It's not going to stay brand new. If I own it, I'm using it. I don't care if it's a collector item or not. I don't buy nothing to sit on the shelf. 
nice micarta handle, welded pommel, welded guard. My carter just feels really nice. It's 25 and a half inches total. Feels like a 16 inch blade. Sheath work, really nice. You don't have to draw it all the way out like uh, like what you do on some of my sheaths. Work good for a leg, leg rig. It's got the malice clips on it. A little retention strap. But you know, then it just like it's barely even in there but it's in there you know once you put the strap on it, it won't come out so i'm gonna do a little testing on this one here in a minute but i want to show you uh i got a smaller blade from him but uh, i'll do another video on that later uh it's in my truck right now i forgot to take it out but i got this uh tactical hawk from james helm at helm forge this is one of his 4140 tactical tomahawks Taro tough handle this is the 18 inch war chief model got the shoulder sling on it got the retention strap to uh, keep it locked in place you know when you don't want it to come out you really got to pull on this thing even if even if it comes out a little bit it won't come all the way out because of the strap sometimes they put the double straps on it just to make sure uh, but for what I'm gonna do this uh, use this thing for it'll it'll be fine It's probably gonna be Strapped to the back seat of my truck along with that Kodiak Pop the little retention strap Ready for business <clears throat> It's got the sharpened beard on it nice grind This thing's pretty sharp too man razor sharp this is the War Chief model, not the Wrecker. The Wrecker's got the slant, and then the Woodsman's got the little butt end on it. But uh, go check this guy out, Helm Forge, on YouTube, and Helm Forge on Instagram. So uh, if you want something cool, man, this guy does hand forged blades, cord wrapped handles. He does bush swords. You know. Uh, Big cleaver style blades, little small blades. Really talented guy. Really nice guy too, man. But uh, I wanted to show you guys. I haven't even done anything with these yet since I've been back from Blade. So I've got a little limb that fell last night. So uh, I wanted to, you know, take a couple swings at something and see how it works. It's probably an inch and a half. Inch and a half limb. This is actually the first tomahawk I've ever owned. But I mean, this thing's super light, man. It fits really good in the hand. Terra Tough, the pen's been, it's epoxy with uh, flare tubing. I don't know if that's stainless tubing or regular steel. I think it's stainless. It's got a black oxide finish on it, which any of these black finishes you put on these blades is gonna wear it's not gonna stay on forever especially if you're batoning through limbs and um, hard use stuff like that I mean it looks good at first and it looks good after it wears too because it's it just shows that you use it I like battle worn looking stuff my Glock got holster wear on it I ain't worried about that said I don't buy stuff for it to sit on the shelf if I buy something I'm gonna put it through the ringer and I want quality stuff that lasts I promise you this will uh, I'm gonna put this up for a minute and I'm gonna go ahead and do a little testing with this Kodiak first time I've tested it I haven't done anything with it except look at it and want to play with it but uh, yeah the guy named Jared Corey man Stellar guy, really nice. Met him at Blade Show. Sat there, talked with him for a while. 
him and his dad talked about all kind of stuff. They looked at my stuff. I mean, he really respected my work. And um, I mean, it meant a lot to me to hear that coming from a guy that I've respected for so long. You know, it means a lot. I'm just a little guy trying to, you know, come up. Man, that's really rich. All right, this is probably probably one inch diameter. That was actually one hit because I didn't hit it in the same spot. Let me move this back now so y'all can see it. Huh. I'm not the best <laughs> cameraman in the world. I need to get a tripod so I ain't got to do this all the time on the ground. Make me a little chopping stand. But yeah, I mean, this thing, man, it's really light to me. This is like a little more slimline model than he usually does. I don't know if this had the saw back on it at one time. The blade's a little more narrower than normal. But, man, when I say these things, razor sharp. It's razor sharp. Trying to get a little closer toward the handle. You would think more power would be out here towards the front of the blade, but actually it's more farther back. That's where more your inertia is. Where the sweet spot is, see? That was almost all the way through, one hit. That was one hit. Do them little bitty limbs like nothing. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I don't know. He he off tempers these. Whatever that heat treatment is, I'm not really familiar with that process. But 295 is a good steel. I've used it on smaller knives, but never a large blade like this. Nothing, Effort, effortlessly. Something like this, keep it in your truck. If you ever need to chop some branches, whatever. One hit, baby. Let's try that again. That's an inch and a half easy. All day. So if you're ever thinking about buying a blade of this nature, don't think twice about Omnivore Blade Works. Or James Helm, Helm Forge. Penetration. Spike. Flicking it. 
You're not going to get the same force with one of these as you are a longer blade like that because you're concentrating all of it into a smaller cutting edge, you know. You don't have the, the weight or the length hanging out. It creates more of a, a leverage farther back on the blade. That's why the longer blades cut so well. But this is for more uh, self-defense fighting in my book. War Chief, I mean, this is meant for tactical defense situations. Or some, you know, moderate wood chopping. That thing is really tearing that thing up. But uh, I'm glad uh, I'm getting back into the knife thing. You know, JBS Blade Works on uh, Facebook, I mean, uh, YouTube. JBS Blade Works on Instagram. That's for me. Helm Forge. And Jared Corey doesn't have an Instagram right now. He does have a YouTube, but in a week or so, or maybe sooner, he will have an Instagram and a Facebook page. I'm going to start a Facebook page for mine as well, JBS Blade Works on Facebook soon but uh for right now it's just ig and uh youtube for me so <clears throat> glad to be making videos again check me out on instagram later guys